A class contains the declarations of the data that will be stored in each instantiated object and the declarations of the methods that will be invoked using an object. These are called members of the class. Consider the count flip program shown on the left. It uses an object that represents a coin that can be flipped to get a random heads or tails. The count flip program simulates the flipping of a coin 1,000 times to see how often it comes up with heads or tails. The MyCoin object is instantiated from a class called coin located on the right. On the right shows the coin class used by the count flip program. A class and therefore any object created from it is made up of data values, variables and constants, and methods. In the coin class, we have two integer constants, heads and tails, and one integer variable, face. The rest of the coin class is made up of the coin constructor and three regular methods, flip, is heads, and two string. Remember from previous lessons that constructors are special methods that have the same name as the class. The coin constructor gets called when the new operator is used to create a new instance of the coin class. The rest of the methods in the coin class define the various services provided by coin objects. Note that a header block of documentation is used to explain the purpose of each method in the class. This practice is not only important for anyone trying to understand the software, it also separates the code so that it's easy to see where one method ends and the next begins. The definition of these methods have many parts, and we'll look at them in more detail later. The COIN class uses several services. For example, COIN, this is the constructor. This sets up a new COIN object with a random initial face. Void, flip. This flips the coin. Boolean is heads. This returns true if the current face of the coin shows heads. String, to string. This returns a string describing the current face of the coin. The coin class looks like other classes that we've used in previous lessons. The only important difference is that the coin class is not part of the Java standard class library. For most of the examples we've used thus far, we stored each class in its own file. Java lets you put several classes in one file. If a file contains several classes, only one of those classes will be declared using the reserved word public. Also, the name of the public class must match the name of the file. For instance, coin, I'm sorry, for instance, class coin is stored in a file called coin.java.